We just uh, released uh, the Adiona uh, software, which is an offshoot of a research program uh, on device tracking. The basic idea is that you're going to use this software to install on your laptop and it'll help you eventually, uh, if your laptop gets lost or stolen, track down the location of it. Uh, it could help you. Um, and uh, we're privacy researchers and we're, we're really interested in not only providing this type of functionality that we can give you a software solution that will uh, help you with uh, potentially recovering lost uh, laptops, but at the same time um, ensure that your locations as a legitimate user of the laptop um, are not being revealed uh, to other third parties who might uh, be interested in finding that information out. So the, the Adiona uh, system will give you a, an information about the network location uh, of the laptop and this is not the precise physical geographic uh, coordinates of, uh, of where your laptop is. Um, in terms of the recovery process, if you do have a lost stolen device, of course, you shouldn't try and recover it yourself. Uh, you should uh, go to the police with this information that you gather from Adiona, and they'll be able to work with uh, internet service providers, the people who provide uh, internet access to the device uh, where it is located to help figure out exactly the physical location of the, of the system. So the, the real target for uh, Adiona is, uh, is not uh, uh, to protect, um, uh, to provide device tracking functionality in the face of very technically sophisticated thieves. Obviously internet device tracking won't always work. Uh, you can uh, deny internet access to a laptop, you can destroy the laptop, uh, um, so it won't always work. But the, the real target uh, is the common case thief. So people who opportunistically take a, a, your laptop at an airport or at a cafe and either just want to use it or, or sell it quickly online or something to someone who does want to use it. And these people are not typically technically savvy. Um, and in these cases, we can hope that uh, these type of internet device tracking systems will provide significant benefit uh, in, in terms of potential recovery. In the future, you're going to have lots of mobile devices. We have this idea of ubiquitous computing, where everyone's sitting around carrying their iPhone. You basically have what was a supercomputer 20 years ago in your pocket. Um, and this brings a lot of uh, privacy concerns, uh, potentially, because people will be using these. And uh, if software and systems are engineered uh, poorly from a security and privacy perspective, this could lead to abuse. Uh, people could be revealing their locations there. Uh, uh, visiting all the time through their devices, um, you could end up being tracked or stalked this way, and, and these can be serious uh, concerns for people. Um, so the bigger picture idea is that when we're building these types of new applications that are going to take advantage of these cool new uh, devices that uh, people have with them at all times, uh, we should think about privacy and, and security and, and try to understand the issues uh, involved in providing mechanisms that will uh, ensure people's safety and, and, um, uh, and location privacy. Uh, in doing the research, we were really interested in the privacy aspects, uh, and we really wanted to see if you can even do this type of uh, device tracking service while maintaining owner privacy so that uh, other people can't abuse the system to track you through your devices. Um, in doing that, we realized that we would actually be building a, a, a proof of concept uh, software prototype that people might be interested in using. We also wanted to test out some scalability features in terms of if we have lots and lots of people using these, uh, our system, um, we want to make sure it will actually work under strain. And so we decided along the way, hey, let's, let's release this and get it out there and let people play with it um, uh, to actually see if, uh, uh, as part of the evaluation process for our research ideas. And uh, that's what we did, and that's why we went, uh, open with the, uh, went public with the software and let people play with it, open sourced it so they can extend it and, 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 and work with it. And so far, it's, uh, it seems like it's working very well. Uh, so we have a website. Um, it's adiona.cs.washington.edu, and that's A-D-E-O-N-A. .cs.washington.edu and there's contact information up there, there's a feedback link that you can uh, send uh, the whole group email and we'll all see it. Um, so that's probably the best way to get in touch with us.